And so if you were president today, it's some it's some things going on with Putin getting ready to invade, I guess, the Ukraine. Uh-huh. So what what would you do as if you were in Biden's shoes? I said Ukraine ain't pawn under NATO. <laughs> well, I got to do with a motherfucker. I knew you gonna say that. I knew you gonna say that because we like to jump in <laughs> other people's beef, <laughs> other people's business. I said they ain't part of no NATO. They ain't our ally, <laughs> and y'all got all our NATO people right over there. Y'all have the motherfucker. Right. But but this one this is what I was gonna ask you. So we want to go save them, but it's a lot of stuff going on in Africa. They not jumping. They not jumping out there to try to police anything that's going on over there. And I understand it's a little different, but I'm just saying, y'all gotta show the brown people some love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, watch this, Brandon. When last time you showed the brown people some love? <laughs> I'm showing some right now. I, I purchased. I purchased. You, a, <laughs> you pulling the jump out. <laughs> I purchased a shirt from this brother right here. My money, my life, my money. Media. It's <laughs> that's how you support. A black man's business. I bought his book also. I haven't read it yet though, but I purchased it. That's what we need to be doing. I look out for my my <laughs> from zero to 200k. Uh-huh. Can, and 10% can... goes back to the people. Right. I don't, that... I don't use none of this money. <laughs> but see, that's and... what we that's what we should be doing because this country's not gonna do it. I, I think we gotta help each other. Just kind of like how Dr. Claude Anderson says, you know, he see what's going on. He know they're not going to help us. We got to stop trying to look for them to help us. It's just not coming. Well, and we need to quit begging on your knees. Begging. Right, yeah, right. You know, you're begging on your knees with your mouth open. And you know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> right. what? I ain't, I ain't begging up motherfuckers for nothing. Right. You know, and watch this. I can't, I can't say, I got to watch my words. We don't, we don't need police reform. We need what the Black Panthers done in the 60s. The police ain't going now. Just imagine this. Just take a George George Floyd for uh, for instance. Mm -hmm. All them people around there. I know you have multiple cops, but all them people around there watch that man get choked out. Right. Imagine if all them people had guns, would the police be choking out? Go, <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> no. somebody go, get your hands off of them. <laughs> right, right. I just say. But they don't. We don't have that presence. Like if we had a presence in these communities like that, like I'm, I'm not saying a military presence, but a militia type presence where we were looking after each other and making sure nothing like that was going down, it would be a little different. They would. They wouldn't treat us the way they do. And You're right. Seen, did you see the fight where it was a black kid and a white white kid? They were fighting in the mall or whatever. And the I white seen kid, something. The I white didn't kid really was beating either. them up. The white kid was beating them up anyway. So then all, all of a sudden the cops come and snatch the black dude and slam him on the ground and put his hands behind his back. And they put his knee on him, kind of like George Floyd. And the white boy is just sitting there. He he was like, what's going on? Well, actually, it was a Latino person, but he looked white. But they saw the black guy as the aggressor, even though he was getting beat up in the fight. They didn't put it, they put, but they see, that's how they, they see us that way. And they know nobody's protecting us like that. So they come after us first. They see the skin color and they know who to come after first. They see us as the aggressor no matter what. Well, I just say this. If 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 there was a shift that a police said, if I do this to this particular group, mm -hmm. the people around them, him while I'm doing this, is going to get on my ass. Right. I guarantee you stuff will change. Yeah. I guarantee you. Because they would have to have meetings about it and, and make sure everybody's informed on what the consequences are going to be, you know, if they do certain things to people like our people. You they know I mean? don't have meetings about it. They don't if need they, no meetings. <laughs> they, but I'm, they, uh, all the meeting they be, they see something happen. Oh, I got to talk this out. Goodbye. <laughs> crazy. Somebody else will bust me in the back of the head. Right. That's, that's all the meeting they need. You got to talk it out. I you gotta talk it out, and I can't say what I want to say because that'd be <laughs> yeah. I'd be discriminating, I'd be uh, incriminating myself and doing other stuff. But yeah. it seemed like 
we you know we we have these ideas we we know what we need to do we just we just can't ever do it you know we can't ever take our dollar and do what we need to do with it go ahead what you about to say let me grab a book right quick make sure you <laughs> can you read the name of that book negroes with guns lord have mercy i haven't right. heard that book this book is a i say like a a recount of events that happened in the 60s in North Carolina. Mm. In the Morrow, North Carolina, they wanted a they want an opportunity to use a swimming pool one day a week and to use the library. Uh, the people said, no, you can't use a swimming swimming pool, even though you pay taxes. Right. You can't use this library. You can't do it. So they started to uh, demonstrate and march. Mm -hmm. And when they started the march, you have people in the community that were shooting bullets over their heads and the cops didn't do nothing. Wow. Throwing rocks and all this kind of stuff. And guess how they stopped having people shoot bullets, throw rocks, kidnap, and ramshot neighborhood neighborhoods. Guess how they stopped doing that? Carrying guns. <laughs> Carrying guns. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Robert Williams said the mind of a white supremacist is his life is better and more value than yours. Mm -hmm. So it's not worth him getting in a shootout with mm -hmm. another person who's less viable because he ain't dying over a monkey. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> he didn't say a monkey though, but he said, <laughs> okay, if I shoot this monkey, this yeah. monkey gonna shoot me back. I Okay, I just won't shoot the monkey. Right. It ain't worth it. And the whole environment changed when the people in the community realized if y'all shoot at us, we gonna shoot back. Mm -hmm. Now they started to talk stuff out. Right. But the, but the government got involved and federal government got involved and it put some trumped up law, uh, laws against the, of the country. So... So where do you yeah. stand on protesting? Do you think marching and all that kind of stuff works? Or do you think act more actionable items work? Like, you know, I'm not I am say, a, go ahead. I am a person who believes all fronts. We need to do all fronts. You need to march. You need to protest. You need to boycott. Vote some, local. Uh, you need to vote. I say you need to vote. Uh... Some I may need to pick up something to throw through a window. You need all things. You need That's all true. things need to happen. So, you know, war is not this fault in one way. You got to hit those motherfuckers for multiple <laughs> angles. What Boosie said, what Boosie said, little Boosie said, like hit them like Tim Duncan and Tony Parker. <laughs> you come to all angles, baby. That's on, that's, but he said that back in old time. So that's what Booster said. Booster said hit them at all angles. So you need to hit them at all angles. So that's I believe in the protest. Mm. I believe in the marching. I believe somebody could pick if a person pick up a brick, hey, they picked up that brick. You should be <laughs> done with your time. You know. Right. But so, we ain't never had a boycott yet. We didn't have a boycott. Like a real boycott, yeah. Yeah. 